Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will show you all how to make a zero-g roll in Ultimate Custer 2 without any sort of jolts. So first of all, we have to check that our ride cam smoothing is set to zero. You can change that afterwards for filming purposes or whatever, but to just to check any sort of jolts, you have to have your ride cam smoothing to zero. And also when building a coaster, you, can, you should enable any sort of combs so you can see the heartline of the train. So first things first, we're gonna lift the train up to speed. And we're gonna start with our zero G roll with a pull up. The pull up has to have the two weights at the beginning lined up with each other, like this. So you see how they are both in a straight line? That's to avoid any jolts with the previous transition, which is basically straight track. So you can, you can tell over there that there's no jolts. So then we're going to have a small piece just before the turn so that we can keep it round. So make sure it stays round with the previous piece. It stays uniform because otherwise you will get a jolt. So you see that there's no transition between them. So this is the piece that starts everything. So we can basically start shaping up an airtime hill here. Let's say 40 degrees is suitable. So this has, to look like, this has to look like an S. We can adjust our weights slightly. But this piece has to look like an S. The reason, reason being, our next piece is going to be a parabola, and we need to have a smooth transition into it. We're adjusting our weights there. Maybe a little too sharp, maybe not. And then the transition from this piece to this piece needs to be completely round. It's got to be no transition, it has to be uniform. And the same for the piece that's going up. And then you have your exit and you can continue the rest of the lab. But now this is just a normal airtime hill. There's nothing special about this. So what are we going to do? We're going to twist this row up to 360 degrees roughly. What do the reason it's roughly is because we are going to change the banking of the transition beforehand. And that's because of this weird transition into the zero G roll. So we're going to bank this slightly, let's say 20 degrees. It may look odd, but that's why you have to adjust the weights. So we are stretching this out a little bit. And we're testing it. We're we'll testing this up. And also make sure your banking is set to free. If not, your shaping will look weird. So yeah, see that? It smoothly goes into the roll. And the same for our exit. So our exit has to be similar, if not the same. And see see the way it bangs right slightly that's why we need to move this to the left so that we can have a nice little transition off of the roll so you see that it is a perfectly smooth zero g roll and i made it in under five minutes so this easy technique will get you an absolutely jolt that zero g roll i hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe for more tutorials Peace out.